Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, SOS here, and we are continuing our playthrough of No Man's Sky. We're on episode number 11, I'm pretty sure. And today, we should be able to get us a new freighter, I'm pretty sure. So remember, the conditions are uh, to trigger the freighter battle. Uh, three hours of playtime in-game, and five warp jumps. I'm pretty sure we got the three hours, um, but I don't know about the warp jumps. Uh, where we're at with that, so what we'll do is we'll warp around a little bit. After a few administrative things around the, uh, around the old freighter, uh, we'll warp around a bit and then, um, make sure we can trigger it when we want to trigger it. Which we'll talk about. In the meantime, I'm going to harvest the plants that I can. Um, I'm trying to, I've expanded this area by the way, I don't know if you noticed, I've, I've added around the perimeter to be able to plant more things, and I planted a bunch of gamma weed, uh, because I want to really get that living glass going, so we might do that after we get our new freighter. Um, but for now I'm just going to harvest what we have. Gamma weed doesn't take too long to grow. Oh. And the selenium takes forever. It really does. So, uh, in terms of his mission, we might not even have enough selenium still. Uh, we don't even have any here. 34. Basically, when one grows up, I harvest and then use it to immediately plant a new one. So that I can get get that production going. So that's going to be a while for that. Also, let's check on our expeditions. We got another damaged frigate, it looks like. Which is fantastic. We'll fix that up. Magnetized ferrites. That's good. Units, superconducting fiber. Not too bad. Yeah, looks like one of these guys broke down. Alright, a few different resources. Hmm, let's see. Pyrite grease. Bunch of stuff to sell, basically. That's alright. Units. Units, 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 crap. Okay. So, I won't worry about fixing up that other frigate right now. Um, I'll do that before I send out another expedition. Ooh, too many Corvax casings. I don't know if I really need those for anything. Let's, let's sell some. Four should be enough. I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell the... Now, the activated emerald, I'll hang on to. Sell that. And do I have any of these vortex cubes? Now nah, I'll sell that too. Viking effigies. Alright, I'll hang on to some of those pirate grease. Man, we got a lot of stuff. Cryopump. So, 1.2 million units from just that last expedition. I didn't really count for the other ones, but we can sell all this. There we go. And then, um, also, in between episodes, I... Fixed up my starship, my new one. SOS Squid is now... Uh, it's got all the upgrades with the Infernife. It's doing 49,444. That's pretty good. Almost as good as the fighter. Not quite, but almost. And, you know, pulse drive upgrades, launch thruster upgrades, hyperdrive shield, everything. Everything. And upgraded it with some ship storage upgrades, augmentations, so... Yep, she's good to go, and we'll use this for a little bit, because I like it. Because I like it. Uh, alright. What 
else. That's a, that's a, mostly administrative stuff I was gonna do. Um, let's let's fix up this frigate. Might as well. I'm gonna forget next time, and that's gonna be a problem. All right. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna recap kind of what considerations you need to make when you're looking for a new frigate. Oh yeah, and this is a weird bug. When you teleport to the damaged ship, you have to like get into your starship for him to tell you what's going on and to mark the spots. Notice that earlier. It's kind of inconvenient, but oh well. So anyway, when you're things to consider when you're in the market for a new frigate. Um, I like to use the coordinate exchange, the Reddit No Man's Sky coordinate exchange, which we, which I had links to in the description. Oh my goodness, I can't even fly this jetpack. I put links to in the description, and uh, you just look up frigate, make sure you're in Euclid Galaxy, and it will give you a portal address to go to that star system. And they're procedurally generated based on the star system that you're in. Each system has, you know, a unique uh, freighter that will generate on these freighter battles. Uh, if you're in a three-star system economy, three-star economy, uh, which you see on the galaxy map, if you have an economy scanner on your ship, uh, then you have a higher chance of, you know, BAS class freighters. If you're in a pirate, um, pirate controlled system, you have the highest chance at S class, which is still only 5%. So anyway, the point of that is it, this process requires patience. So when we spawn, when we, um, trigger this freighter battle, okay, we're going to have to fight the ships that are attacking the, uh, attacking the freighter and then dock onto the freighter and then scan it and see if it's an S-Class. If not, reload our autosave, reload our restore point, and then try it again. So, it requires patience to get the S-Class that we deserve. But, uh, it, there's a, a supposedly a way that you can just dock at the space station in the system, and then when you come out, the, the battle's done, and you can just dock on the freighter. Um, maybe we will test that. But I don't want to take the chance of the freighter being lost. And it did happen. Um, last One of the last episodes, I was going to take the freighter. This was a nice, it was a cool shape, you know, cool looking one. But uh, I got on the, star, the space station, and it just vanished. So... Don't want to run the risk of that happening. And I'd already lost my restore point. Okay, now we can... I think when you get back in the ship after you repair, he tries to give you stuff. There you go. Got some minerals. I don't know what he gave us. But it's fine. Now we can go back to our freighter. Press the teleport right there. So we'll do we'll test that theory, the um, land on the space station, but we just can't get out. If we get out of our ship, it creates a new restore point, and then our work is uh, ruined. So what I'm going to be doing is warping to different star systems in my vicinity uh, until I trigger that freighter battle, and when I do. Reload my restore point. Um, use my teleporter to go to an adjacent system to the one I want to go to. And I explained this in the previous episode, but basically I found coordinates for a system with a freighter that I wanted. That looked that looked nice, right? Um, and then I made a base in a neighboring star system because I want my fifth jump, hyperdrive jump, that triggers the freighter battle to be going into the system where the freighter is that I want, right? So I gotta make a base adjacent to that star system and then warp with a fifth and final time to trigger the battle. So anyways, we're gonna warp around for a bit 
And when that freighter battle gets triggered, we are going to um, reload our last restore point and then teleport here to this base and then do that last one. Okay. And we're going to do this in our starship because I don't believe it may or may not trigger the freighter battle if you're in your freighter warping. All right, so we don't want to run that risk either. So we're going to take our ship and we're going to do some warping. And actually, we are docked in our SOS system too, right next to our paradise planet. Just because I wanted to visit. I did a little bit of work uh, on the base over there. Not really much, just added like a docking bay or a landing pad, I should say, for my starship. Really, that's it. Maybe we'll check it out later. Uh, and I forgot to recharge my hyperdrive, which we can do that. I have more warp cells, so I guess I'll use that. All right. So we need a... Actually, yeah, let's uh, hit the base first, make a restore point there. <sighs> I'll show you the earth base. Just added a landing pad, like I said. It's gonna be nighttime, because as you saw, my the sun is not facing that side of the planet right now. Could have just taken the ship down there and docked it, but I felt like this would have been faster. Yeah, so here's my landing pad. I just attached it to the side of my base. I still love this planet. Look how gorgeous it is. If you look straight up, I think, between here and the next planet, there it is. There's my freighter up there. It's chilling out in the low or orbit. It's not low orbit, it's actually kind of deep space. It's kind of like halfway between here and that planet, which is a uh, very dangerous, inhospitable planet, coincidentally. All right, so this is how you make a restore point. Okay, if it's been at least a minute, I believe, 60 seconds, you just hop in your ship and hop out, and you see right in the middle, restore point saved. Oops, and again, I guess it does it every time. But not on a freighter, like not on, yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you when I get to it. All right, so I'm gonna do warp number one. This might be the warp that triggers it, I don't know. Doesn't matter where we warp, just anywhere, really. I'm gonna warp... Right here. I'm gonna stick with places we've already been. And look at that, freighter battle right away. So we are going to, right away, reload restore point. I knew we had the time uh, down, but I didn't know if we had the right amount of warps. All right, so we're back in. This time, instead of taking our ship, we're gonna use our teleporter in here to teleport to our base that we made. Mm, Raider. And we need to go to Ehandle Jokey 7. Gotta make sure we get to that star system. It's 
going to be close to it, and I think we, yeah, we visited it already, so it should show up on our galaxy map. So first thing we're going to do is test the theory that you can go into the space station to negate the uh, pirate battle. Alright, where's our ship? Here we go, let's make a restore point. First things first. Boom, restore point. Get airborne. Galaxy map. And there it is. Ihando Oki 7. Is it? It's a three star system economy, so, you know, higher chance of S, but I think even in a three star, the chance is 5%. I mean, I'm sorry, 5% was for a pirate controlled uh, system, three and a half for a three star economy. So. You know, we might have to load this 25 times or whatever. I won't show you each of those times, I promise. All right, here we are. So the freighter is this one right here. So it looks like a Star Wars kind of Star Destroyer looking thing. I like it. I do. Okay, we are getting lit up. So, we're going to test our theory. So we go into the space station and come out. Will the freighter be right there? Make sure that I know where it is. Yeah, it's literally right outside the space station. And last time we tried this, I went in the space station and the freighter was gone. Ten pirates, dude. I don't really feel like fighting ten pirates. getting some sort of message. We check that. It's not going to save anything. Uh, okay. Cut off before it can be completed. A fragmented hologram is a citizen of the planetary settlement of which I'm an overseer. They were in distress. Okay. Let them know I heard them. Okay. Well, I didn't save anything. I didn't make a new restore point, so... Yeah, see, that's what I was afraid of. The freighter is gone. The freighter is a vanished. Unless that's it over there. No. That is not it. Is this it down here? No. Right? No. That's not the one we saw. So... Yeah, you gotta do... I mean, you gotta do the fight. Unless, unless I did something wrong. And if so, please somebody tell me. Because I don't want to give anybody wrong information, but yeah, I'm gonna have to do the do the actual fight in order to reap the benefits. So let's go ahead and reload our restore point. <laughs> as long as you don't mess up that restore point, then you can keep trying this as many times as you want. And I hate to say it, but I'm probably gonna have to do a bunch of these space battles to get an S class. And I'm not gonna settle for anything less than an S class. And you shouldn't either. It just takes a little bit of patience. I mean, if you wanna decrease the amount of time, you gotta make sure that the freighter that you want, that you find on coordinate exchange or whatever, you gotta make sure that it's a, a pirate controlled economy. That's the only way you can guarantee, well, can't guarantee anything. It's the only way that you can shorten the time you get a 5% chance instead of 3.5. 
All right, we warp again. And this time we fight. Ten ships. Man, can it be anything less? That freighter is worth it, though. Alright, let's do this. Oop. Can we tar- Oh, it's only eight this time? Okay. I don't want to shoot at the freighter, so I gotta- Gotta get closer. Yeah, they're too close to the freighter, and I don't want to risk, uh, hitting the freighter. So I'm trying to get- I gotta get closer. There you go. These guns are crazy, man. Alright, who's next? Okay. Alright, he's on the other side of the freighter. You gotta be careful where you're shooting. That was the, that's the only problem with these space, space battles for freighters. Okay. I'd have to shoot him with a rocket twice. Damn. Oh! That's it, I think. Yay! It's the same one I just got about the settlement. Alright, this should be the one for the freighter. Alright, welcome aboard the vessel. I can figure out. Alright, so here's the thing. Once you finish the battle, you can dock with the freighter. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of it. Okay, right here. You have to get out of your ship, but it won't create a restore point. For whatever reason. So you don't even have to go up and speak to the captain. All you have to do is get out of the ship, look down, and scan. It's an A class. Right there, class freighter A31 plus 18. Okay, so we need to, right from there, reload restore point, try it again, do the same battle, dock with the ship, check the class until you get S class. There's nothing to it. I'm going to wait for this to load, jump in the ship, do the warp. And then I'll do a, a time jump for you, so you don't have to watch me do it every time. Get in. Do the warp. Warp to the system. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it used to be that you could land at the space station and the freighter would be right out there. And actually, it's still possible. It really is. It's not in the same exact spot it was. If I remember right, it could be anywhere around the system. You have to look for it. But I'm just going to do it this way, just to be safe. So, anyways, 
I'm gonna fight these guys, and I'll be back when we get ourselves an S-Class. Alright guys, we're back, and we're in the freighter, and it's a B-Class. Sorry to suck you out, um, but I'm gonna reload the restore point. Um, yeah, I, I reloaded 23 times and did that battle, space battle, 23 times. I'm pretty sure it used to be true you could land at the space station, skip the whole thing, or even land on the freighter. I, I don't think they, I don't think that's true anymore. I think they patched that out because, uh, yeah, 23 times I tried landing on the freighter once and the space station once. The freighter just disappears. So... Yeah. I want to salvage this episode a little bit too. Like, it's going to be a short episode anyway, but I don't want to spend all of my time today that I had to play this um, trying to do the freighter thing. So, what we'll do, we have 23 <laughs> reloads, so we'll come back to it and we'll do some more. Um, I'll park my existing freighter here in this system. And, uh, we'll continue at it between episodes. So, next episode, I'll have the S-Class freighter that we're all so excited to see, okay? But, again, I wanted to salvage a little bit, at least, of this episode and, um, do something more productive. So, let's see what we can do. Um... Something, something grew up over here. It's our frost fort. That stuff grows like a weed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright. What else can we do? Um. Oh yeah, we can craft the stream aerial, probably. Right? Let's see what happens when we do... Wait, where's my... Gamer room. There we go. Yeah, so I think we have enough. We need three living glass. Let's pin that formula. Three living glass. Which I need... A lubricant and a five... Okay, so for lubricant... I'm gonna need three lubricants. Did I pass it three times, or what? Okay, and I'm gonna need... Five, I need, uh, ten more glass. How many do I have? Thirteen? Oh, I only need two more glass then. Okay. Then a living glass, three. And then craft the dream aerial. Pilot ship into deep space to search for cosmic megafauna. Alright, so let's throw this in our starship. For now. And throw this back into storage. Alright. We'll hit our ship. So while you have a dream aerial in your possession, and you just saw how to craft it, it wasn't too difficult. Okay, you go into space, and when they say deep space, it just means these space between planets or, you know, out here, basically. Activate pulse drive, and watch what happens. The dream aerial has awakened, listening. Listening on different wavelengths and is trying to find cosmic megafauna. So you come out of the anomaly. And there it is, right there. The sleeping or whatever that is. So go investigate that. Go a little bit faster. So then you tune into your frequency. A colossal glorious creature drifts by my starship, appearing to swim through the vacuum of space. A haze of stardust glitters around it. It's like nothing I've ever seen. 
Traveler, in the infinity of fates, we have converged. Serenity and peace wash over me in the presence of this ancient creature. It feels profoundly familiar, as though we have always known each other. Your warp to my weft woven together in this cosmic tapestry. I'm glad to be together. Hmm. So, what are you? I'm not the Leviathan. Our species is unlike yours, Traveler. Where you would iterate, we endure. We are each a unique thread in this reality. You mean unique threads? I am old. When all things end, my kind remains. The Crimson Sleeper does not perceive us. I've seen your fate intertwined with mine many times over, my friend. Should I join your freighter's fleet once again? Come, let us dream together. Who are you in this life? Alright, so instead of me, travelers who iterate many millions of times, they just live forever, I guess. The whale-like creature opens its throat. A resonant lullaby swoops over me, bathing my consciousness in waves of euphoria. The creature's voice grows distant as strange visions manifest in my mind. I'll look around. I am swimming with weightless limbs across an ocean of stars. A system of celestial bodies pulls into focus. Three worlds invite me closer, yet I know my time here is fleeting. Only one planet can be reached. I tuck my limbs in tight and dive towards... Alien Metropolis, Indian Bane Mountains, or a Megafauna Ecosystem. So how you answer these questions will determine what kind of stats this freighter, or this frigate, I should say, will have. Um, Bustling Alien Metropolis. Sounds like trade, that sounds like industry, and that sounds like exploration, maybe? I'm gonna try to lean towards exploration. I understand, Traveler. I begin to see you more clearly. Show me more. The lullaby draws me onwards. My body is its body. As one, we swim through the dream. I stand on the exposed surface of the heat-scorched desert. Sulfurous clouds roil above. The sky rumbles, and my suit issues a warning. Firestorm approaches. Um, patiently wait and refuel. Gather storm crystals. Hmm sounds industrious, the storm crystals. I'll patiently wait. Modulates its song in response to my voice. Though I am shaping the visions, I sense this is the sleeping Leptirinayak's way of finding its own place. The images shift. I'm on the bridge of my capital ship. Alarms blaring. Power levels critical. Engineering crew need time to make repairs, but pirates will likely strike. Um... I'm going to go ahead and insert power. I'm going to divert hyperdrive. The song unfurls into language. I find myself fluent in every major alien tongue. Time passes unconventionally, and I spend a rewarding day training with and learning the customs of... So, I'm going to say Corvax. I think they're the explorers of the galaxy. The visions darken and intensify. Creep through a derelict freighter. Egg sacs hang from the ceiling. The sacs are many. Um, extract a sack to study. A distress signal leads me to a remote sector of space. I discover a pilot adrift. As I draw near, an outlaw makes leave the scene. Uh, I'll give the pilot some spare fuel. Lost the net. Oh my god, all these questions. <laughs> a threat crackles in my ear. Surrender your cargo or die. Well armed. Um, outmaneuver and flee. The song is beginning to fade. I gaze across the horizon of a breathtaking planet. Exotic herds graze peacefully. Sprawling underground caverns brim with wealth. I could linger or leave this world as I found it. Discover every species. The dream recedes, reality reasserting itself. I see you now, my friend. I see the wanderlust your fleet needs from me. I'm ready to begin our partnership. Perfect. That's what I was hoping for. Exploration. Uh, only requires nine tons of frigate fuel. That's good. It's class A. So, yeah, this is a no-brainer. Add it to the fleet. Beautiful. The Dream Ariel has completed its voyage. Hold right... Stick down on items in the inventory to discard. 
An organic frigate can be found in deep space of every system using an anomaly detector. Okay. The dream aerial you can't use anymore after that. It's, it's done. It's used its purpose. Um, you won't find more with this, so it's, might as well just discard it. But, <clears throat> as you pulse drive around different systems, you might um, happen upon a cosmic bag of fauna, a, a living frigate like that. It's rare, you know, very slim chances. If you have an anomaly detector, which we haven't talked about yet, an anomaly detector will make you run into something, but no promises that it's a uh, living frigate. So what good are these living frigates, you might wonder? I mean, it's nice to have floating around my freighter, but what does it do for me? Well, we're going to send it on an expedition, hopefully. If I have any expeditions I can send it on, I'm not sure. First of all, it'll be flo floating around in our uh, in our fleet, which is cool. Hey, buddy. I'm going to get close. Like a giant whale. Um... Anyway, organic frigates, living frigates, have a... Sorry about the noise there, I don't know why that was so loud. They have a chance to pick up um, an egg sack, I believe, when they go out on expedition. And the egg sack is the beginning of your quest line to obtain your own living starship. So, let's check our expeditions, let's see if there is one for him. Mm, no explorer mission. Or we can send him on a balanced expedition. Or even a trade expedition with one of our traders. Yeah, we might as well do that. So we'll go, uh, trade, and we'll do this organic one. Cool. 100 tons, that's a lot, but whatever. All right, so we'll see uh, next episode what he comes back with. Um, and then real quick, there is an expedition reward that I have. I'm going to go ahead and redeem that now because... I mean, I only waited because um, we hadn't talked about living frigates yet, and uh, if you could guess, it's a living frigate. Let me bring in the space anomaly. Ooh. A bunch more frigates just showed up over here. Let's see if there's any we can get. Um, It look like combat ones, is that right? Trade specialists. I don't know if I need a trade specialist. Especially not one that only has a 17 stat. 28 though. Whoa. Good deal. Yeah, you can join. Oh, that's the 17 one. We don't want him. Uh, I don't know how many of these ones we have. Okay, that I believe is a support. Yeah, we don't want any support frigates. They are kind of useless. Exploration... that's not bad. We'll take another exploration one. Who's next? Not you. We don't want to talk to you. Yeah, no. Not right now. We got enough. A little bit out of time. I need to know how many we have, too. I think you can only have 30 frigates. And... Why can't I go into the space anomaly? There we go. Yeah, I think you can only have 30, and I'd like to have at least 5 of each category. So, you know, exploration... 
industry, trading, combat, and I forgot what the other one was. Anyway, we are here to redeem a reward. Expedition reward. And this is for the... Let's see if I can find it here. An frigate. Yeah, so this is for uh, an expedition where we, it was basically all uh, frigate or freighter exploration. I don't remember what it was. Somebody else will know. Um, but I'm going to redeem it now. It gives you this Class S, the Leviathan, is what it's called, organic vessel. Great in exploration and trade. Um, 447 successful encounters, 7 tons for 250 light years. It's amazing. Add it to my fleet. That gives me one, one more organic frigate. Add to my collection. And hopefully, uh... Hopefully our organic frigates, when they come back from this expedition, will have what we want, what we need for the living ship quest. If not, that's okay. We'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. Go back to my freighter. And we'll send this guy out on expedition. Exploration and trading, I think, right? Yes. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna send some help for him just because I don't want him to be damaged. I uh, will send this guy. 250 tons. Wow, that's a long journey. That's all right. All right. Good luck. Godspeed. All right, so I think that's where, yeah, that's where we're going to wrap up the episode. But like I said, I'm going to, in between episodes, um, continue trying for that S-Class Raider. And so hopefully by the beginning of the next episode, we will have it. But I hope, hopefully at least that was helpful to show you how, what steps you have to take to get the freighter you want, um, even an S-Class if you want. Uh, of course, you could settle for an A-Class. Nothing wrong with that. I saw like four or five, no, more than that, maybe like six or seven A classes in my 23 reloads that I did. Um, but if you have the time and the patience, an S class is attainable for sure. Um, correction on my earlier percentages, I guess in a tier three economy, it's only a 2% chance. Pirate economy, 5% chance. So it's probably easier and more, more um, time economical to find a freighter that you like in a pirate controlled system um but here we are i want this one and i'm willing to wait so in between episodes i'll get it but anyway hopefully this was helpful in knowing the steps to take and once you once you finish the battle and get on the ship you just talk to the captain and buy it as long as you have the money which i should 731 million ought to be plenty um for that purchase but that's where we're going to leave it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I've been SOS. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It definitely helps me out. Leave a like on the video. Um, get me in good graces with the YouTube algorithm. And leave a comment. Tell me what you like about the series. Uh, but again, thanks for watching. I've been SOS, and I will see you next time. Bye.